Hello, good day. Good. How are you? I hope that everything is well with you guys. So, today, let's learn math with your teacher, Flora. So, our topic is all about factors of a whole numbers. So, again, do you remember what is whole numbers and what factors means? Okay, what is whole number? It is a positive numbers including zero without and decimal fraction. So what is a whole number mean? So it means that a positive numbers including zero and there's no decimal fraction. So this is a positive numbers and they and as you can see, there's a zero on it, and as what it stated here, that including zero, it's a whole number. Fraction, is it a whole number? Of course, right? So, what is factor? A factor of a whole number is a number that can divide the whole number exactly. That is without leaving any remainder. So class, a factor is a whole number that when you divide a number, the whole number, there's no what? Leaving any remainder. For example, For example, this one. So let's determine if a given number is a factor of a whole number. So let's examine these division problems. So the first one here is 12 divide 3 equals 4. So have you seen any remainder here? Okay, none, right? So it means that the 4 is what? Is it a whole number? Okay, let's see later. How about this? 18 divided by 9 equals 2. Have you seen any remainder? None. So is it a whole number or not? Let's find out later. Then the next one here is 15 divided by 4 equals 3. Remainder? Three. So is it a whole number or not? Okay, now let's call this. Okay, 12 is divisible by 3. So 3 is a factor of 12. So what is the factor of 12? Okay, 3 is a factor of 12. So next. 18 is divisible by 9. So, 9 is a factor of 18. So, divisible, it means there's, it's, there's an exact number. There's no remaining at all. There's no remainder. There's no remaining numbers. So, how about this one? The last one. 15 is indivisible by 4. It means cannot divide cannot exact number so 4 is not a factor of 15 why 4 is not a factor of 15 because there is a remain remainder as what as we can see earlier that the factor is an exact number and there's no remaining number or there's no remainder so that is a factor so determine if 8 is a factor for these numbers 48 71 and 96 let's see first 48 divided by 8 what is the answer 6 so, 6 is the answer. 
So 8 is a factor of 48 because it is 48 is visible by 8. So next, 71 divided by 8 equals, what is the answer? 8 remainder 7. So again, if it is, there is a remainder, it means it is not, what? The factor. So 8 is not a factor of 7 to 1. It's because there's a remainder class. So don't forget the factor is the number that without remainder. So if it is have a remainder like this one, so the number is not called a factor anymore. So the last one is 96 divided by 8. What is the answer? 12. Okay. Have you seen any remainder here in 12? Of course, none. So that is why 8 is a factor of 96. Okay. Again, 48 divided by 8 equals 6. So 8 is a factor of 48. Here, 71 divided by 8 equals 8 remainder 7. So 8 is not a factor of 71. And then 96 divided by 8 equals 12. Therefore, 8 is a factor of 96. So listing the factors of a whole numbers. So list all the factors of 18. So these are the factors of 18. 18 divisible by 1. So 18 divided by 1 equals 18. So 18 divided by 2 equals 9. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. And 18 divided by 6 equals 3. 18 divided by 9 equals 2. And 18 divided by 18 equals 1. So, have you seen any remainders of this number? Have you seen any? None, right? There's no remainder of this number. So, all of these are the factors of 18. This, the highlighted number is the factor of 18, which are 1, 2, the 3, 6, 9, and 18 itself. The number itself is a factor. So, next, next example. Okay, the factors of 42. Let's see. 42 divided by 1 is 42. 42 divided by 6 was 7. 42 divided by 21 equals 2. 42 divided by 2 equals 21. 42 divided by 7 equals 6. 42 divided by 42, the number itself, equals 1. And 42 divided by 3 equals 14. And the last one, 42 divided by 14 equals 3. So this, these highlighted numbers that you can see here in the screen are all the factors of 42. So what are the factors of 42? 1, 6, 21, 2, 7, 42, 3, and 14. So again, what is the factor? Okay, the factor is a number, the exact number, that without any remainder. So have, as you can see here, there's no remainder, right? So it is what? This is factors here. If there is, if there is a remainder, so it's not a factor anymore. 
So let's proceed to our speaking time. Okay, is eight factor of 48? Yes, eight is a factor of 48. Is eight is factor of 71? No, eight is not a factor of 71. Is eight factor of 96? Yes, eight is a factor of 96. Is 42 divisible by 15? No, 42 is not divisible by 15. Is 18 divisible by 3? Yes, 18 is divisible by 3. So now it's your time. Is 8 factor of 48? Is 8 is factor of 71? Okay. Is 42 divisible by 15? Right. Is 18 divisible by 3? Okay. Last, is 42 divisible by 15? All right. So, we learn our numbers. We learn what is whole numbers and what are the factors. Okay, now let's have our working time. So, for your activity, I will just um, add to, I will just add a link. I will, um, send you the link on our line group. So hopefully that you learned from our lesson for today that's all about whole numbers and the factoring of whole numbers. Okay, bye.